is water wet? No, water is not wet. I was right. Water is not wet. Today, I'll show you how to use GPT-3 to create a very simple yet highly sophisticated chatbot that is quite close to ChatGPT. Check out my article on Medium for step-by-step -step instructions. Well, basically, you need to have Python 3 installed and have some basic knowledge of Python. So first, we need to create an OpenAI account. So in your Google search, just search for OpenAI API, click on the first link, click on sign up and follow the instructions to create an account. Once you created your account and logged in, go to the top right hand corner, click on personal, click on view API keys and here click on create new secret key. This will generate your API key, which is kind of like a password to use the GPT model. Make sure to copy it and save it because we'll have to use it for later. Now, today we'll be using the Da Vinci model of GPT-3, which is basically the recommended natural language model for text completion. Normally, you have to pay for this service. Right now, it costs two cents to generate a thousand words from the model. Luckily, for first time users, OpenAI offers you $18 worth of free credit to play around with the model at no cost. You can track your usage by going to this usage tab in your account and it'll show you how much of the $18 you've used. For this current project, $18 is more than enough. So let's continue. Now create a project folder called GPT-3 and create a Python file called main.py. Next, go to my article, scroll down to you find the code, copy it and paste it into your Python file. Let's quickly go through the code. First, we import the OpenAI library, which we'll install later on. Next, we create a function called arcsgpt, which will take in a string as a parameter. This parameter will represent the user input. Next, we instantiate the API key, and this is where we insert our secret key that we generated on our OpenAI account. Then, we establish a template request for us to interact with the model. Here, we specify DaVinci as the engine. Prompt is the actual input, and here we'll just use the text parameter. Temperature refers to how creative the response should be from a scale of 0 to 1. Let's put down 0 0.6 for fairly creative response. And max tokens is the maximum number of words that we want the model to return. Here, let's set it to 150 words. And finally, let's print the model's response. Next, we create a main function, which will use a while loop that will prompt us to ask a question. Our input will then be stored in the variable called my question, which will then be passed as an argument into the arcsgpt function. And finally, we will just invoke our main function. And that's it, just 20 lines of code. Go to your terminal and type in pip3 install openai to install the openai library. And once you've installed it, you can now run the chatbot. So just type in python3 main.py and you can start talking to the chatbot. So obviously this is a very basic chatbot because we're still in the terminal. But even so, it's still very good. So actually, let me show you. Pineapple on pizza. That's a personal... Okay, okay. Is a fish underwater wet yes a fish underwater is wet is water wet no water is not wet i was right water is not wet oh my yes Woo if you want more content like this make sure to follow me on medium and follow me on linkedin and yeah that's it have fun